So what do we have? We have a voltage source, which I'll represent as this box over here, and it sends out electrons. Electrons, let's look at them like the circle here. That's the electron, and it's got uh, energy in it. How will we represent that energy? As a liquid, oh, that's a good way to represent it. Oh, it's got lots of liquid in it. That liquid represents the energy. So our guy has lots of energy in him now. And all of a sudden, he runs into Mr. Resistor. When he hits this resistor, oh my goodness, it's like a cup of water. What happens to the cup of water when it hits something? Huh. It spills it. It spills a lot of it out. And just like a cup of water spills out a lot of its water when it hits something, so too this electron, when it, these electrons, when it hits this resistor, oh my goodness, a lot of that energy spills out. It, what does it do when it hits this resistor, resistor one? It spills a lot of what? It's energy out. Oh my goodness. It spills it. And it gets lost. Or it dissipates. However you want to say it. It spills it out on this resistor. And it gets lost. In the form of heat. So that represents the heat. Those funny lines. When it spills this energy out. We call that a voltage drop. That's a V, and it's the voltage drop across R1. That means it spills energy across resistor number 1. And that's what a voltage drop is. VR1 is an energy spill. The electrons filled with energy from where? From the voltage source. R crash into the resistor over here, and they spill out a lot of energy. That is a voltage drop across resistor 1. A fancy way of saying it spills a lot of its energy. Huh. Well, now the electrons keep traveling through, but they don't got so much energy now. Now they've got only this much energy. Let me see if I can color that a little bit. Yes, they spilled a lot of their energy. Now what are they going to do? Well, they're going to hit the the lamp when they hit the lamp there's going to be another energy spill and that's the voltage drop over the lamp and what's going to happen to the electrons as it gets through that lamp it'll drop a lot of energy across it. Well, the rest of its energy is going to drop across that light. And then what happens? It goes through the circuit, travels all the way back, ducks my writing, and goes right back to the voltage source to get some more energy. Because it's all out now. It's on empty now. Them electrons are all empty. Let me draw a picture of the electrons returning back here. They are tired. They are empty. Empty electrons. No more energy. Ooh la la. And that's basically what happens. So now we know that a voltage drop across a resistor simply means that the electrons coming out of the voltage source spill their energy across a resistor when they hit it. Then it goes, continues traveling on till it hits the lamp over here. And, oh my goodness, it crashes into the lamp and loses some more energy. It loses the rest of its energy. And then returns back home on empty. So it can get some more energy. And that's the cycle of a circuit. <laughs> what do you know? Well, all I can tell you is it's been a lot of fun. See you around now.